the 2024 WNBA regular season was loaded with awards and record-breaking performances, but not without controversy. Hi, and welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new content. Let's jump right in. Asia Wilson was the unanimous choice for MVP, her third such honor, joining elite company in WNBA history. She shattered records, including becoming the first player to lead the league in points, 1,021, rebounds, 451, and blocks, 98, in the same season. Asia's dominance was also seen in her scoring, where she set a new WNBA record for highest points per game average, 25.3, surpassing Diana Taurasi's 2006 mark. Her unparalleled season also saw her post two of the highest scoring games with 42 and 41 points. She also managed to pull off a rare 2020 game. Despite her greatness, some argue that the league may be over-rewarding stars from super team like the Aces, overshadowing deserving players like Nafisa Collier, but her stats speak for themselves. Meanwhile, Nafisa Collier won Defensive Player of the Year, posting career highs in rebounds, steals, and blocks, proving her value as an elite two-way player. Some fans and coaches and players argue that this should have been Asia Wilson's second unanimous awards, and that Brianna Stewart and Alyssa Thomas were also snubbed from serious consideration, raising questions about voter biases towards players. Caitlin Clark from the Indiana Fever claimed Rookie of the Year honors after a historic season, breaking rookie records for points 769 and assists 337, while also becoming the first rookie to notch multiple triple double with all of the great plays that we've seen, not being able to get this done. Like Candace Parker, Maya Moore, Sue Bird, this is definitely a feat worth celebrating. Yet, some feel her impact, particularly in setting records, inflated expectations that outshine other rookies like Angel Reese. Dijanae Carrington's win as most improved player was also hotly debated, while her leap was undeniable, critics argue players like Erica Hamby and Bridget Carlton had strong cases for overall improvement across both ends of the floor. Tiffany Hayes came out of retirement as the sixth player of the year, another contentious award, with some questioning if her role with the Aces was more substantial than a traditional sixth player. She did start a lot of games for them, I'm just saying. Added to the mix, several all-defensive team snubs and awards conversation for the 2024 WNBA season was far from unanimous among fans. Players like Sabrina Unescu and Alyssa Thomas, both of whom played significant roles in their team's success, didn't receive enough defensive recognition, further fueling debates. With record-setting rookies and veterans alike, this WNBA season was one for the history books, but not without drama and differing in opinion on who deserve what. How do you feel about this record-breaking season? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.